Hello everyone, it's Carla here today. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm here to share a project with you. This is a design team project for two different um, online stores. Um, the first one is Katie's Scrap Post on Zibit and the second one is Gina's Designs and I'll put the links below um, as well as a list of all of the products that I'm using today. But basically what this is is a very, very chunky book. Um, I don't want to call it a mini book because it's humongous, <laughs> so I'm just going to call it a book. Um, so it's obviously this very soft feminine Parisian theme here, and my thinking behind it was just very vintage, feminine, almost like a, a diary. Um, so I wanted to um, just kind of give it that feel. So let me bring it in. So you can see um, I added this really awesome lock. And this is from Gina's Designs, and it comes in three pieces. So you can just kind of see how that is, and I just love, um, I just love the effect that gives of it being a diary. So pretty. Um, and in the same, can, and in the same bag that this comes in, there's different shapes. So there's, um, you can kind of see here some of the different shapes that you get. Um, so there's that, and then there's this Eiffel Tower here, which is also from Gina's Designs. And then I added these beautiful flowers that I have, and then all these laces um, that are also from my stash. And I'll list below um, where, where I got everything. Um, the paper that I used for this diary book is from Kitty Scrap Post, and it is Love Struck. I also used... Easter Elegance, and I'll put the links below for those. I did use a couple pieces from Tea with Teddy also, and I just love these papers. Love, love, love these papers. So, okay, so here's the cover, and then I have this massive lace bow here. Okay, and then I bound everything so it flips up. So let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, so here it is opened up. And on this side, I have, let me zoom in a little bit. So I just made this little um, closure. And then I just put a little envelope. And inside I have some cutouts from the collections that I told you about from Kitty Scrap Post. So this is, has a lot of elements of a junk journal, but it's not as many pages. And then this side has, it's this doily that I put here, so it's a pocket. And um, these are the Painted Lady ATCs from Katie's Scrap Post, and I will link those at the bottom as well. Um, these really pretty lattice hearts are from Gina's Designs. And here's some more of the lattice hearts. Um, I sprayed them a really pale greenish beige so it matches perfectly with that paper. And then another ATC from Kitty Scrap Post. And I love the paper in the background. It's so feminine and vintage. And then here's the next page. more of the lattice hearts from Gina's and then this is a cutout from Kitty Scrap Post um, and I just cut it out and pasted it onto this paper in the back and then I have another closure and um, I don't throw away my scraps so when you're using these digital papers um, do not throw away the extras so I just took them and made this little mini book just some twine from Michaels, and there you go. Okay, so I mean, it's very simple, but they just add some really cute touches to your projects. And you're using everything, which is nice. Okay, and then here's the next page. This is the Deco uh, Lattice Panel 2 from Gina's, and I sprayed it. I always use Lindy Stamp Gang for my sprays. And it's a little hard to detect now, but there is some shimmer going on the lattice. 
Um, and then this really super cute little bird that I'm absolutely in love with is from Gina's. It's the bird on a swing and I just gessoed it and stamped it with this little um, fleur de lis in blue. And here's the next page. So that's a good um, photo spot. And then another closure. Um, this little bag does not come out. I just wanted to give it a closure anyways. So it's this little paper bag that I was gifted by um, Sabrina Ann. Thank you so much, Sabrina. And so I just put some more of the ATCs in that front pocket and then inside. Beautiful, beautiful images. And um, these are great for journaling or if you want to put a photo on the other side. So those are really fun. And then here's the next page. So we have more of those lattice hearts and I didn't decorate this one too much since the paper's pretty decorated and I just really like the Marie Antoinette mixed with the Easter elements. It's really mystical. I like that a lot. Um, and then on this page, I just made a little, almost like a clothesline effect and I hung this mini book on it. And again, these are just my leftover um, pieces and that's the last page with the more lattice hearts. I think they're so beautiful. Um, and then here's this one. And this is, I used one of the ATCs as a tuck spot for more ATCs. And then finally we have the last page. Again, I just kept it pretty minimal. Um, and then here's another of those bird elements with a really pretty um, ceramic flower. And all these flowers were gifted to me by Nadezhda in our spa and um, I purchased some goodies from her so she gifted those to me. And just all these laces I used from um, Natasha. So that is it and then on the back I just added some more lace and then I had this really fun eyelash trim and this pearl which I think came from Nadezhda um yeah I'm pretty sure it did come from her if not I'm so sorry um it's hard to keep track sometimes but I do love all of these goodies so I thank everyone for just sending me things um and I do use everything so um so there it is there is my chunky journal diary <laughs> I'm gonna call it just a vintage diary so there it is um I hope you really enjoyed this I just love working with these papers so much they coordinate very well with one another I found um also the chipboard pieces from Gina's are a great touch um to all of your projects so I'll put the links below of everything um, and I hope you all have a great day just comment below let me know what you think and I'll talk to you all soon okay thank you so much for watching bye bye